This is a story about getting a new job and people helping you adjust. So what you guys do last night? Anything fun? This man, John Tester, his new job, yeah. U.S. Senator. Tester ranks number 100 out of 100. Charlie Brown, Citizens for Global Solutions. We have support you. Congratulations, Thanks. sir. Thanks, really John appreciate it. Good Thanks to meet you guys. You Thanks bet. so much for uh, everything you're doing and keep up the good work. You bet. We can support your agenda. All right. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if there's been any big surprises. Uh, this is moves a little slower than it does in Montana, which is uh, it's, it's probably good. You know, it uh, can be frustrating, but we'll overlook it. Lucky for Tester, a senior ranking senator also from Montana. Senator Baca's office. Is there to help. A new city, a new office building, and a new job as a United States Senator. Now it helps when you have a five-term senator like Baucus to help you navigate turf that the average career counselor may not have easy answers for. Sally, how are you? We supported him. Baucus has made this walk from the Senate offices to the Capitol building a time or two. He's been here since 1976. Baucus and Tester are headed to a swearing-in ceremony where Senate President Dick Cheney says, welcome. Good to see you. Senator the swearing is a simple ceremony. Now staffing, that takes some time and effort. A few of the basics, senators are allowed under federal law to hire up to about 60 aides. Top staffers can earn over $150,000 a year. Expense allowances cover things like domestic travel, stationery, newsletters, overseas postage, telephone services, and going home. There's now a little more to keep track of for this former music teacher and butcher. He no longer cuts meats for a living, but he still farms on lands his grandfather homesteaded in 1916 back in Big Sandy, Montana. It might also be a little tougher to juggle the family farm, a staff of aides, and the responsibilities of being one of the world's most powerful people. 